The 6000 series has an advanced trigger acquisition mode called Save on Trigger and it allows us to define an advanced trigger on a waveform to look for any random anomalies and then use an alarm to save the chosen waveform to disk. So the first thing we're going to do here is to define the advanced trigger. So I'll stop the acquisition and select the advanced trigger library. So the trigger I'm going to be using is pulse width trigger. So I'm going to be looking for a pulse which is wider than normal width of the sequence. So I'm going to be looking for a negative pulse and I'm going to set the threshold to 400 millivolts and the pulse we're going to be looking for is one that's got a width of greater than 1.5 microseconds. So we, close. So we can just uh, run the acquisition now and see if any uh, and here we see we are triggering on the uh, anonymous now so I'll stop the acquisition. So the second thing we have to do now is to define the alarm to save these chosen waveforms uh, to file. So this is under the tools menu, selecting alarms, and we want to capture the uh, waveform. So we select capture, and the uh, event, then we can take an action, which in this case we want to select uh, save the current buffer to a file. So the file name I'm going to choose is a uh, save on trigger to replace that waveform so we're going to select a file name called save on trigger and I'm going to enable the uh, save condition so we apply that say okay so now we can run the acquisition so now we're looking for the triggers and we can see every time we uh, have a trigger now we can see it is actually creating a file onto the uh, disk so at this point I could stop the acquisition and we could reload then any of those uh, saved waveforms so we could select file open and here indeed is all the waveforms that have been uh, saved to disk so we could just open any one of those and there we see one of the selected waveforms with the anonymity that has been saved as a hard copy.